The bees are starting to really enjoy our peach tree. We planted this a couple of years ago and it's getting there. I think when we planted it, it was just a wee little baby, but now it's alive with bees. <laughs> Violet, are you enjoying this weather? It's been a while since we've done a little bit of a farm tour, so we're gonna go around. I'm gonna show you what's happening, how everything's getting along, and then I've got some stuff to plant. If you popped on my live feed the other day, which is actually still today, but you're gonna watch this a few days after that live stream, I shared with you guys some of the seeds that we were so blessed to have received, there's a wonderful business called Haas Tools and they have blessed our family and not just our family, they blessed our bees with what will soon be our bee garden. But we can't quite start planting that. So today we're gonna plant just a bit of baby leaf lettuce mix that they have shared with us. I'm gonna make sure to add the link above either which way to Haas Tools, their YouTube channel, and share with you guys some of their knowledge. They have a ridiculous amount of knowledge and we're so lucky to be able to have that channel as a resource. And not only that, but also have a product that they offer. I'm gonna heavy sew them and then we will go ahead and actually pull, weed them out and clean them up. Once they start really growing. Plus, because some of the days are still a little bit colder, so just in case if the germination is, does not work as well because it's so chilly every once in a while I'm just kind of doubling my chances so Haas tools not only did they send us a bunch of flowers like I'm talking like a bunch they did go ahead and send us these really cool seed start trays that are so hardy so I've used the plastic ones in the past where you know you invest this money into them and then you basically have one season two seasons with them if you clean them and disinfect them properly in between but like <laughs> these are solid so they sent us a boatload of them and and actually and more we're gonna start some seeds in this very soon some of the ones I'll probably be starting in this are I've got a couple I'm gonna plan on transplanting some kale um, not gonna do any green beans green beans and peas are best done outside in place but easy transplant items so cucumbers cabbage maybe a little bit of cabbage i haven't decided yet and they sent us some pro mix it's really good seed starting mix so i'm pretty excited to get these all nice and potted up and then bring my seed boxes out here and get started and it is happening sooner than later but i don't think you guys have had a baby goat update in a little while I think it is about time that we go do that. You are so 
Playing with the boys? Oh uh, yeah. Hey, I've got the most important survival skill that you need to learn right now. You wanna know it? Sure. Times are definitely in trouble. And I'm gonna share with you guys, including my son, the most important survival skill that he needs to be, that he needs to learn right now. See this right here? See it? That, that's your toilet paper. Nature's toilet paper. <laughs> Nature's toilet paper. Feel, come here, feel it. Come here, touch it. I'm good. Touch it. Put it up against your cheek. I want no. you to see how <laughs> see how soft it is. No. Just take it and just put, put it on your cheek. Uh, I'm good. Just try it. No, yeah. not. I don't want to put it on my cheek. Come on, it's soft. He doesn't want to have any more. Any fun. Toilet Nature's paper. toilet paper. Here, I want you to try it. Wipe it on your face. Feel how soft it is. It is soft. It is soft. <laughs> no. It's not gonna hurt you. It's soft. Think about uh, that on your tushy. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Can't find toilet paper anywhere, right? Before I head in, I wanted to go and check on one of the swarm traps. I've had a few people ask me how things were going and I've seen a lot of activity with a few of them, three of them actually, but this one, hopefully, we call it a swarm. It's starting to get a little chilly. The sun's also starting to go down, so they might not be flying, but yesterday I came down and saw them flying, I just didn't have my camera with me. So today, Miss Violet, Violet. So today, Violet and I are going for a little bit of a walk. I see them flying. <laughs> All right, let's look. Oh, look at it. Oh yeah. It's looking pretty promising that we caught a swarm in that trap. I'm gonna give it a few weeks. They have enough to do in there before I have to take them down and, uh, and relocate them. <sighs> oh man. What a day. It, it's definitely been an eventful day and <laughs> gotten a lot accomplished. Planted some seeds. I did go ahead and get my some of my seed trays ready for our next batch of seeds. Took care of the critters, took care of the littles, checked on the swarms, went for a walk, taught my kids about nature's toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe that everyone is fighting over toilet paper. I think the scary thing about all of this is if people are fighting over toilet paper, what is going to happen if they have to fight over food? So, in the next few weeks, keep an eye out on a few videos. Keep an eye out on Homesteaders of America, actually. A bunch of us are gonna collaborate together and we're gonna put out a series of videos on how to 
grow your own food, how to bake your own bread from scratch, how to do just about anything. I will put the link above so you guys can see the list and all the information. I shared it on our community page. There are many resources that we'll be able to use and we'll be able to learn from. So hopefully you guys, if you guys are stuck inside for the next couple of weeks, just watch them, you know, start learning. <laughs> I just wanted you to sit with me. Oh, you probably rust. <laughs> Ow. Ow. No. Nope. <laughs> oh, Violet. Okay, okay, go play. She doesn't want to spend any time with me. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. <laughs>